Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made an unannounced trip to Northern Ireland today marking their first official visit together. The pair are attending an event at the Icon Centre to mark the second year of youth-led peace-building initiative Amazing the Space, before heading to the Crown Bar in Belfast City Centre. The US actress was a picture of elegance as she arrived in Belfast, wearing a jumper, skirt and trench coat combo, and just like her future sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan has proved that she's becoming a pro at diplomatic dressing. She wore a 530-pound sand-colored coat from Mackage, the My Style with a waterfall collar, with a dark green midi skirt by Greta Constantine. Not only is the color a nod to Ireland's national colors, but both these pieces are from Canada-based labels, a tribute to Meghan's previous base in Toronto. She teamed the skirt with a cream jumper by Victoria Beckham and Charlotte Elizabeth's 175-pound tan Bloomsbury satchel, which is only available to pre-order currently. These pieces from British brands tied her look together nicely and she completed her ensemble with a pair of Jimmy Choo's Romy 100 velvet heels. Meghan Markle proved her selling power once again today as the coat she wore for her surprise Belfast visit sold out in under an hour. On the last couple of occasions we've seen Meghan in public. She sported sleek blow dreadlocks, locks, but today her signature messy bun was back. The bride-to-be has also proved that the trouser suit and stacking rings are back in style, making her own fashion stamp on the royal family. More details have emerged about Meghan and Prince Harry's wedding this week. They have chosen pastry chef Claire Tack of London's Violet Bakery to make a lemon elderflower wedding cake and their invitations have been sent out this week ahead of the big day on May 19. One of the biggest questions still to be answered is, who will design Meghan's wedding dress? Ralph and Russo, Erdem and Roland Morin are among the rumored big names, but it's unlikely that we'll find out until the day.